Oh. Hello YouTubers um, and fellow pipe smokers. This video is more of an apology than anything else. Uh, it's been easily a year since I put up a, a video of any type. So I do apologise. Um, it's not for want of trying, it's just work and life has just kept me so busy. I'm, um, at the moment I'm smoking Old Dublin and I thought it's a nice day. The washing's on. I've got a few minutes to myself, I'll have a pipe. So hope everything's well with all those people that have been leaving me lovely comments and subscribing. I don't know why they're subscribing, I haven't actually put any on for a long time but that's, that's a lovely thought. Uh, I'll try to get a few more on. I mean this one's just going to be a general smoke and a whinge as you normally get from me. Yeah, I know, the way things are going work-wise I'm rather lucky I'm actually Oh great, yeah, typical, I've left me lighter upstairs, bear with me. Oh, back, where were we? Oh yeah, um, I'm pretty lucky, uh, I am working, it's just that I'm having to work quite a long way away from home, uh, living in accommodation and stuff like that. Uh, which restricts you to doing a few things um, but I can't complain too much I mean my social life's just gone right down the pan uh, like I said I mean this video is what a year literally a year after the last video but what can you do if you want toys you've got to back, get money for the toys you know It's not so fair with the recession and everything, everything's gotten a little bit cheaper. The supermarkets seem to be slowly but surely reducing the size of that packaging and creeping the price up. Fuel's still creeping up. I mean, you'd think of a recession that actually want to get more people to buy our stuff so they'd keep it at a reasonable price. So I hope everything's well with everybody else. I mean, I hope life's treating them well. Can't remember what I whinged about last time. It was probably about the iPhone or things stupid like that. <laughs> Saying that, I whinged about it and I've still got one. I do like the phone, just don't like the way the company restricts you from doing what you want to do with it. We'll see what happens when this new operating system comes out in September iOS 7 complete revamp should be interesting let's just hope they do a better job than they did with iTunes and every time they revamp that it just seemed to get worse I mean I, I did an upgrade then suddenly where's all my songs gone? where's all my videos gone? they were still there just they weren't being shown I had to re-import the whole lot again. Now, I'm not exactly stupid with computers, but I feel sorry for the, the odd person that it isn't that sort of like passion in life to sort of like sit there for two hours on an end trying to figure out how to re-import all those bloody songs. And don't get me started on Windows 8. Fuck. And don't get me wrong. I think it's a great idea, you know, revamp it, give it a complete new interface. But why can't not do what Apple did? Have one operating system for home computers and one operating system for tablets and phones. When you try using Windows 8 on a laptop with a mouse, it's it's not exactly the nicest experience. Bring back the button. The start button. Which you can get on a third party app, 
and it works quite well. But that's beside the point, that should have been left there in the first place. Why give you the desktop but hide the button or take the button away? God, don't you love a good whinge? Sorry, it's just that I'm by myself at the moment and I'm just trying to think of things to have a little talk about. I'm not doing too well with my pipe at the moment. Well, the morning started off pretty disastrous. Decided to give me head a little trim, and the trim I decided to explode in my hand, literally. It's got one of those ceramic blades, which decided that it no longer wanted to be one piece, but six or seven. Which left us a nasty little cut somewhere there. It was blood running everywhere, but yeah, it was only a little cut. But you know what it's like when you cut something on the top of your head, it bleeds forever. Um, so the end, no shaver. So I had to use a bick and take it all off, which isn't a bad thing. Well, I left my video camera at home, so this is being done on a normal, well, camera camera. So I don't know how it's going to come out. And obviously, to transfer it to YouTube, I've got to use Windows 8, so I don't know how that's going to work, because I've never tried it yet. So this should be fun. This year, like I said, it's mainly been work. I did get some time off and popped across to Florida, um, but was restrictive with what I could do. I mean, I had me two sisters and niece and nephew in tow, which uh, I enjoyed the parks. Big kid at heart. Couldn't wait to go on the Harry Potter ride, which I enjoyed. It was very, very well done. Very well done. Yeah. Uh, what's that to tell you? Oh well, at least I've got a video up, but it's not the best. I'll, uh, when I eventually get home for a long weekend, I'll get the video, proper video out, and maybe put a bit of gear on. If you've uh, followed any of my other videos, you know I like a, I've got some uniforms and stuff. I do like collecting uniforms, badges. I mean, one time they were easy to get a hold of. Now, oh Jesus, the price they go for is just ridiculous. You know, I've seen people take a standard police shirt, shove a couple of badges on, and ask for a hundred dollars on you on eBay. What? It's a shirt. You know, I mean, if it was a unique, one-off police badge, an issued one, which is technically, you know, it's a grey area. Um, original police badges. Um, especially if they're still in service. Technically it's illegal for the policeman to sell them. Even if he's retired, he's supposed to t hand them back in or, or <coughs> at least keep a hold of them. I've got a Oh, sorry about that. Uh, batteries went flat. It's going to be one of those days, I can feel it. Uh, I'll edit it and uh, hopefully it will not look too stupid and hopefully what I was just whinging on about I was talking about police badges at the time the batteries went flat 
Um, yes, I've got a nice collection, uh, and the stuff I picked up earlier on. But uh, now, Jesus. I mean, the only good thing is if I ever want to get rid of my collection, I can make a bit of money on it, but I don't particularly want to. There again, I've put on a bit of weight so half the things don't fit as anymore. I do hope this is recording. See, in the other video camera, I actually had the screen where I could tip it and face it towards us. This, I haven't got a clue if I'm lined up. Am I in the frame? <sighs> See this being a bit of a disaster, but what the hell. To all the people that subscribed and all the people that sent those nice comments, thank you. And I apologise yet again for not having anything up for the last year. As you can see, if you look at the previous ones in this one, I've gone a bit whiter. I think we'll call it distinguished. Distinguished, yeah. So seeing turn old. Yeah. Well, I'll try to get a decent one up later. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your pipes. Hope life's starting to treat you a bit better, and I hope this recession starts to get a bit better as well. Because once this job's finished that I'm on, I don't know what the hell's going to happen next in the oil industry. Take care. Catch you later.